Have you ever wondered why you can produce tears but can't really cry underwater? Imagine this, Sloan Avery, a marine biologist from Oregon, dives deep into the ocean and suddenly feels an emotional surge. She tries to cry, but nothing happens. Why? Today, we're uncovering the science behind this fascinating human quirk that connects our tear ducts, fluid physics, and the pressure around us. Stay tuned, because the answer might surprise you. Humans have tiny tear ducts located at the corners of our eyes, responsible for draining tears away. When we cry, these ducts let tears flow naturally down our cheeks. But underwater, it's a completely different environment. Meet Camden Whitley, an underwater archaeologist from England, who experienced this firsthand while exploring shipwrecks. The water surrounding him creates a pressure barrier, which prevents tears from streaming down like they do on land. When submerged, your body faces external water pressure, which increases with depth. This pressure pushes against your eyes, making it nearly impossible for tears to escape from the tear ducts. That's why Camden felt emotional underwater but couldn't shed a tear. Essentially, the water's pressure overpowers the gentle flow of tears your eyes naturally produce. Our bodies can still produce tears underwater. These are often triggered by emotions or irritation. Characters like Alara Fenwick, a deep-sea diver, Notice that her eyes still feel watery when something touches them. However, because the tear ducts are countered by water pressure, the tears don't flow outward. Instead, they just mix with the surrounding water, making crying invisible to the outside world. Tears are just fluids, and like any liquid, they follow the laws of physics. Underwater, the surrounding water density prevents the tears from creating that familiar downward streak on your cheeks. Dr. Lennox Harrington, a fluid dynamics researcher, explains that the tear and water pressures balance each other out, making it almost impossible to cry in the conventional sense while submerged. Even though you can't visibly cry underwater, your body still releases stress hormones and activates the same emotional pathways. Sloan Avery explains that crying is as much about emotional release as it is about tears. So, even in the water, your mood can lighten after an intense experience. Your tears are just hidden from view. Isn't it amazing how our bodies work? Next time you're swimming or diving, remember, your tears might be invisible, but your emotions are still very real. If you enjoyed these mind-blowing facts, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with friends who love discovering strange and fascinating science. And share your underwater experiences in the comment box. We'd love to hear if you've tried crying underwater too.